Congratulations and welcome to Canada Jeff and Priscilla, a study permit holder and an open work permit holder. Welcome to Westman's Immigration, Trisha. Vlog take over, mga kachikahan. Hello sa mga kachikahan ng aking nanay. Okay? Sounds so weird, but we're gonna start the process. This is Trisha Galamiton, and we are doing an application for her boyfriend for almost 11 years. Wow, that's long. Under Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada's public policy on reuniting extended family members, including people in an exclusive dating relationship so if you are a Canadian citizen a permanent resident or a person and person registered under Canada's Indian Act you are absolutely or like 100% allowed to sponsor or to bring your girlfriend or boyfriend as long as both of you are 18 years old or older as a licensed immigration consultant of Canada, we are also a commissioner of oath of our own province. Just like me, I am residing in, at British Columbia. So I am a commissioner of oath of the province of British Columbia. So I am definitely allowed to take an affidavit or a statutory declaration as per the requirement of Immigration and Refugee Protection Act of Canada. Just like what we are doing right now, Miss Trisha is affixing her signature to the IRCC form IMM 0006, which is an application for authorization and statutory declaration to sponsor her boyfriend Miguel. So recently, uh, meron akong study permit holder at saka open work permit holder na lumapag sa Vancouver. They booked their hotel in Fairmont. So they paid 2700 for three days. Only three days? Yes, mandatory. Then after that, kung negative ka, you can go out from the hotel. Like, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then continue your 14 days quarantine kung saan man so, uh, you're done running with 3 days, mm -hmm. another 14 days ah. No, 11 days. 11, okay. Complete oh, 14 okay. days. So, for example, if you're going to go to the basement, you can mm -hmm. so, uh, quarantine mm -hmm. sa iyo. Pero pwede din, like, mag 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 as long as yung address na i-declare niya sa airport, same. Ay yun din ang address kung saan siya mag-quarantine kasi ang ginagawa nila ngayon, we feel that 11 days, pupunta sila kung ano man ang naka mm, check sila. sila physically. Mm. Like last time, last year, they will just gonna call you whatever phone number you de uh, you declare when you arrive in Canada. Mm. Pero this time sa mga nag sa mga nag-apply. Uh, okay. So this time pupunta sila. Any uh, anyone could either be Canadian or permanent resident. Oh, kasi last year ka pa, diba? Pero nung nagsimula to nung Gen... Kailan ba na gano'n? January 27 na ito? 2021? Mga gano'n? Or no, 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 no. Nag-last month lang. January. Saan? April. Hopefully. Depende. Kasi may naman tayo. Pero ililift siguro yung 3 days quarantine. Pero hindi yung 14 days. At least. Kasi yung kanang sabi.
Ano ito pong address na address well in Canada? Hmm. Kaya ibigyan po ito? Hmm. Or pwede naman ito natin <coughs> Update or whatever. Or kailangan talaga... Kung ano yung i-declare niya pagdating niya. Kailangan yeah. talaga same dito. No, no, no. Kung ano yung i-declare niyang address pagdating ah, pag niya. Pagdating na niya. Pagdating na niya. So, Doon siya pupuntahan. Okay, sige. Mm -hmm. Kala ko yung ano yung... Unless you want me to change it right now. Kasi Ay, it kailangan. doesn't make sense. Kasi kung... Pero kasi po... Approval pa hindi natin, diba? Yes, kasi so... Kasi hindi ka naman pwede... Hindi kasi... Plano namin, like for example, na-approve natin pa kami maghahanap mm -hmm. sana ng ano ng apartment. Pero kailangan natin isama ito sa application. Mm -hmm. Kaya, kasi hindi okay na. Basta updated yung address niya. Yes, okay. Okay. So, pala rin ko. Okay, ma kachikahan, let's continue. Ah, kachikahan. Hard work ito. So next, I hand it over to Miss Trisha, her statutory declaration with all her relevant information on it. I am just waiting for her to affix her signature on the declaration. So just a tip, guys, if you are planning to sponsor somebody from outside Canada it is really important for you guys to review all the details written in the statutory declaration it is very very important as you can see in my computer the applicant and sponsors passport are posted because details on that travel document should be correct like it should be synonymous like the same as details in the statutory declaration we are almost done with the signatures guys i know it's a lot of paperwork but lapit na it's time to go home soon
So life continues in Canada, even though naka nasa third wave na kami. We're not wearing masks because six feet apart naman kami sa isa -isa. And we just had ourselves tested last week, so we're all, we're both negative. So. Actually, a videographer, show yourself. She's wearing masks. Too. She's wearing masks. Yeah, I changed. Oh, okay. I don't know something I am willing to sign any cash money if required by immigration. You like your finances. Finances. For example, you staying as a whatever you have in your house. So you don't have anything. Hmm? We're negative, so that's fine. We just had ourselves tested. Guys, the next brief video will be presented to you by my business partner, Beyond Kaur. She was born and raised in India, but she's really good in talking Tagalog. Hi, Katsi Kaman. Um, I just want to give you a quick update on uh, Canadian immigration under Express Entry Applications. The latest drop for Canadian experience class dropped from 454 to 75 only. Maraming salamat po. 